We're in Internet Information Server in a Windows 2019 server. And if you missed on how to get to this point, just take a look in the playlist and you'll see a how-to step-by-step setup guide for IIS. But once you're past that point and you're in IIS, I'm going to show you how to assign different IP addresses to different websites. So if I click on my command prompt, I typed IP config earlier, and we can see there's two different IP addresses. I have dot .110 and I have dot .199. So I'm going to assign a website to each one of those different IP addresses. I'm going to take the default website first, and I'm going to go to bindings. And I'm going to choose the HTTP port 80. Now, if you're using HTTPS port 443, which you should be doing, then you can just edit that one as well. So it doesn't really matter. This part is the same regardless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my IP address from all unassigned to 199. Now, the other thing you can do is you can separate by port number. You can say the first website is port 80, the second website is port 81, that kind of thing. And I have a video on that in the playlist, as well as a video on host headers. So that's where you put in the name of the website, uh, and that way it can listen on the same port, port 80 or 443, just by separating different names. But in this video, we're talking all about how to assign a different IP address to each website. So we see that there's both IP addresses available. The first website is going to use the 199, and the second website is going to use .110. So I'm going to edit this. I'm going to change this back to port 80 so they can both share the same port, but they're going to use different IP addresses. Now I'm going to go into a web browser, and I'm going to put in HTTP, or if you're using uh, secure sockets, then put in the S for the certificate. 192.168.21.199. Enter. And there's our default website. That's the page you get when you just install IIS. Now I'm going to switch over to dot one ten. And we see the welcome site. It's just a simple page I created called Welcome to My Site. And that one comes up. So two different IP addresses, two different results, because I bound the different websites to the different IP addresses. And this works in IIS for Server 2019, all the way back to uh, Windows NT4. So this will work for all the different versions of IIS.